Okay. The art of geobiking. You need your helmet. You need your GPS. Compass included. The lanyard. The bag for trinkets that you want to trade items. You know. Flashlight if you're in the dark. Mirror in case it's under something. You can peek oh, under. you've got to be kidding. No, I'm kidding. A little knife. Tweezers if it's in a crevice and you need to get it out. Um, pen, of course. Always have a pen or pencil to jot down. Um, you know, different instructions, things you want to leave, maybe a seed packet. And we're ready to head off. Uh, since I don't do anything very well, this is very easy to do. Uh, just follow the cords to the treasure. Make sure you always have your GPS with you. That's about it. You looked for this before? Yes. Why couldn't you find it before? So we emailed, we emailed the cash owner. So. Wait a minute. This was part two of a multi-stage. The first part, we had to go to Pierre Marquette, where he died or something happened. There's a memorial. We had to add up numbers. We had to do algebra. We had a tough time, didn't we? We're not good at algebra. No. So that took at least an hour to do that. <laughs> then we had to have our children help us to make sure we did the numbers right. Then we came here and searched. How long? Probably 40 minutes. Each. And I secretly came back on my bike ride and searched again. No luck. So then what'd you do, Ron? Well, I emailed the cash owner, who immediately emailed me back last night and said, it'll be under the first deck, just above your head. So he basically told you where it was. Basically, yeah. You can't claim that then. Yes, oh, yes sir, we, we searched a ton. We did our searching. So... But you never found it. You were told he also where it said, was. When you see it, it'll be an, an aha moment. And as soon as we saw it, we said, "Aha!" Aha! Duh. Yeah. So, yeah, that was bad. Okay, let's proceed. The next on. one, cemetery cash court. Always fun. There's, there's never any muggles around. If there are, they're mourning and they're not interested in cashers. Okay, our information tells us it's a micro, which is probably very small, half the size of my thumb. Well, where are we? We are um, in Jababy Cemetery. Less than 100 feet from the cache. It's 100 feet south of each reach. It's down that. 67 to be exact. Down that path. Okay, our only clues are that it's a short walk on a dirt path. We have a dirt path here. So, not quite flat. It contains only the log. Please bring your own pen. So, it's pretty small. Only a log. Remember pen. the pen? No, no room for a pen, so, probably pretty small. And our hint is, ready for this? There is not one like it. Not. The container that is. I'm getting bitten up out here. Out! Ah! Right. You got all this fun standing in the woods and getting bitten alive just to find some little box? <sighs> 20 minutes later, they're still in there. Oh my gosh, they must have a thousand mosquito bites. just lie here in the grass in the cemetery. Look up at the trees while I wait.
be in there. And then once you get in there, your coordinates just bounce all over because you can't get a satellite. It's really tricky, and they say it's supposed to be easy. So either we're dumb or it's not there. I checked every tree. I know. I shook them, felt them, peeled them apart. Poked and probed. I hate DNFs. I want my life back. Give me that paper.